Hey everyone, and welcome back. As many of you know, the world of image generating AI is advancing rapidly, making photorealism more realistic than ever. So if you're diving into the world of stable diffusion automatic 1111, you might be wondering, how can I use these stunning images to start earning money with AI? The good news is, with a bit of creativity, the right approach, and a little effort, you could start generating income much faster than you think. In today's episode of Make Money Using AI, we're going to explore a strategy that e-commerce businesses spend big bucks on. Typically, to get high-quality product shots, you'd need to hire a model, send them your product, and cross your fingers, they capture your product and brand essence perfectly. Or you might hire both a photographer and a model, which can get pretty expensive, especially for small businesses. But guess what? Now we can achieve all this with generative AI, especially using Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111, thanks to its incredible feature, ControlNet. In this video, we'll be using Canva Pro and Photopea as a Photoshop alternative, alongside Automatic 1111. Plus, stick around because I'll be sharing tips on finding potential clients interested in your services and how to reach out to businesses with your fantastic solution. First up, we need to identify a niche with products that generally lack lifestyle images, maybe because they're bulky, expensive to ship, or similar reasons. Electric bikes or scooters are great examples. We'll select a product from Amazon and kickstart our process. First, chat with your client about how they envision their scene. For example, they might say, I'd like my e-bike to be prominently displayed in front with a female model holding it in a city park. Next, we'll need a high quality image of the product on a plain background. And also we are going to search for an image of a woman holding a bike in a similar pose to your product. Websites with stock photos will be really handy for this. Once you've found a suitable image, it's time to bring it into play. Open Canva and create a new design with the dimensions of 1500 by 1500 pixels. Upload your product image and use Canva's awesome AI-powered background remover to eliminate the background. Make sure the transparent background option is ticked. And next, save it as a PNG file. Let's do the same with our model image, using the background remover again. This time, you might need to use the erase tool to remove the bike, leaving just the model. Now head over to photopia.com and start a new project. Again, setting it to 1500 by 1500 pixels. Import both images with their backgrounds removed, copy the female model image, and paste it as a layer beneath our bike image to position the bike in front of the model. The next step is to resize and place the model so it looks natural alongside our product. We need also to pay extra attention to the model's right hand, adjusting it so it appears to be holding the bike seat. Looks great, now let's move on. If you have Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 installed locally, go ahead and open it. But if you're lacking a strong video graphics card or prefer not to deal with complex installations, Think Diffusion is an excellent alternative. Think Diffusion enables you to run user interfaces like Automatic 1111, Comfy UI, and others on powerful GPU, ranging from fast to turbo machines with over 24 gigabytes of DRAM. They offer a 30-minute session on their fast machine for free, and you can either add funds as needed or opt for a monthly subscription to maximize benefits. Plus, Think Diffusion provides a free beginner's course to Sable Diffusion. Definitely worth checking out. Interested in giving Think Diffusion a try? Visit their website through my link in the description below. Let's dive back into our tutorial we're going to use the popular Juggernaut XL model to create an image. Our goal is simple, to generate a picture of a woman with long hair standing and holding a bicycle. She'll be wearing a sweater, sports leggings, and sneakers. 
for the image size will stick to 1024 by 1024 pixels, which works great with the SDXL model. Also, we need to increase the denoise strength to give more freedom to the model to ensure our bike looks just right. We'll use Canyon Control Net. This helps us keep the bike's position exactly as we need it, allowing us to overlay the original bike image seamlessly. Once we set that up, it's time to hit generate and see what we get. The initial results look promising, but there's room for improvement. We can try different image generations or even change the model to get the perfect picture. I was particularly impressed with the Dream Shaper XL Turbo model. It did a fantastic job capturing the exact clothing details I specified and the positive prompt. Now let's take this image into our photo editor. We'll add it to our layers and place our original bike image on top. We're facing a few challenges with the hands, face, and clothing in the image. To fix these issues all at once, we'll use the enhancement tools from Crea.ai. Their features can dramatically improve an image's quality, especially when you adjust the settings just right. And just so you know, Crea.ai isn't sponsoring this video. You can sign up and use their services for free. Simply upload your image, adjust the AI strength and resemblance settings to your preference, and hit enhance to see the magic happen. The results are astonishing. It's like magic fixing issues that would usually take hours of manual editing. The face looks more natural and it even corrected the hand placement. Let's save this improved image and bring it back into our photo editor, placing it atop all layers. Our final step is to reveal the crucial details of our original electric bike. Using an eraser tool set to about 40% opacity, we'll gently erase parts of the top enhanced layer. This process helps us to bring back the important features from our original bike image. Remember, you can always go back to Automatic 1111 to fix a specific part in the image, like in our case here, the hoodie. We've made a lot of improvements so far, and now we're ready to add any background image to enhance our lifestyle product photo. I'll be placing our model in a city park using Canva, which offers a wide selection of stock photos and videos I frequently use I got my Canva Pro Lifetime Access from CanvaDeals.com and I've been using all its Pro features for months. Everything works great. If you want to save money, get Lifetime Access for only $9.99 from CanvaDeals.com. Next, after selecting your background image, export it and head back to Automatic 1111. Here, upload our image, select Canny as the control net, and slightly reduce the denoise strength to 0.5. This step helps us find a background image that perfectly matches our model and the bike. Choose the best image, return to Canva, and set it as the background. You'll notice how much more natural our model and bike look with the new background. To enhance this effect, we can add shadows in the appropriate places using an image editor. For a final touch, apply the Crea Enhancer to achieve an even more cohesive image.
place this enhanced layer over your original image and adjust the opacity to reveal a stunning model with the target product in your chosen background or setting. And that's it. Now, let's dive into how you can attract potential clients, pitch your services, and discuss what you can earn for images like the one we're talking about. From my experience, I began working with clients back when only SD 1.5 existed without ControlNet. I created a portfolio website to showcase my services and began reaching out directly to new Shopify stores and Amazon sellers. Within the first month, we began receiving feedback that people were interested in our service and wanted more information. You should also clearly list your prices and how quickly you can deliver your work, helping clients make quick decisions. Don't worry, we'll delve deeper into this topic in upcoming videos. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already.